Have you ever seen a trillion dollars of cash? No, me neither. But that's the scale of capital that needs to be mobilized to invest in climate each year. That's a rather daunting task. So it's understandable that we might focus on the DPIP's pockets, the billionaires, and the family offices. But what if we were to act more inclusively? And in fact, what if we were to, instead of talk about mobilizing capital to invest in climate, we talk about mobilizing people to invest in climate? And what if in, in addition to the 1% of the people who have lots of money to invest, we also mobilize the 50% of people who have some money to invest? Actually, why don't we just empower as many people as possible as we can to become climate impact investors, even if they have teeny checks? Oh, I know what you're going to say. You're probably going to tell me that it's easier to pick up a few big checks than lots of little ones. And you're probably right. And we definitely need to invest a trillion dollars in climate solutions. But we also need millions, if not billions, of people to deploy those solutions in their cars, in their vehicles, to change their consumption habits, to vote for climate-friendly policies, and to join the climate workforce. We need mass market behavior change to tackle climate change. And behavior change is tough. I mean, think about how hard it was for you to change your diet the last time you decided to eat more healthy. Behavior change at the scale we need is even tougher. So we need to deploy all the tools that we can. And investing has proven to be an incredibly powerful catalyst for behavior change. Let me show you. And look, we've all had experience with behavior change at some point when money is on the line. I mean, how many of you have watched a sports game where you didn't really care about the outcome until you placed a friendly wager? Even a small bet can transform a neutral observer into a full-throated fan. I've seen this happen in my own house I, with my daughter, Annika. So I wanted to teach her a little bit about personal finance, so I gave her $200 to invest. And she picked a few stocks and started following them. When Russia invaded Ukraine, she tells me she wants me to sell her socks and buy other ones based on a list that she had researched on the effects of war. Well, I'm thinking to myself, wow, I'm a proud mom here because my apathetic teenager is finally paying attention to world affairs. Now, what happens when people get involved with climate impact investing? How does their behavior change? Well, in a lot of climate positive ways, as it turns out. I'd like to tell you about Steve. He's a seasoned impact investor who's always been mindful about his carbon footprint. But he, he lives in Austin, and there's always room to do better, especially when you live in a Texas-sized house. So it was after he invested in a home energy monitoring company that he started deploying that technology to optimize the heck out further out of his own home energy consumption. And I'm sure that those savings came in quite handy during the recent heat wave, the record heat wave that we experienced this past summer. And he also got his community involved with his climate investments. When he put money into a solar and storage company, he encouraged a lot of other people to put solar on their roofs, including his local church. So even newer climate investors are getting inspired to make big changes in their lives. Like Chris, he works in finance for a consumer goods company but he lives in California, so he's surrounded by tech. He got started with angel investing, and one of his companies happened to be a climate tech startup. And by getting involved with the founders, helping them with intros, giving them feedback on their business plan, he got really inspired by the climate startup mission, by the startup's climate mission, and uh, that got him on his own journey. He started leading efforts within his own company to switch banks and look for climate-focused banks to put their cash deposits. And then he's working on an even bigger investment with his own career by essentially switching jobs and looking for a job to working directly with a climate solutions company. So for younger folks who might not have enough wealth built up to comfortably make high-risk investments, they leverage that with their time instead. Like Deanna. So Deanna is a young professional in the energy industry, she's surrounded by a lot of people who have, don't believe in the business potential of alternative energy. But as much to kind of carve out her own path, 
she started investing some of her time to help a few climate tech startups reach their next set of milestones. And as she got involved with a few startups, she started to learn about many others. And she realized just how many viable climate solutions actually exist. And she became not only a climate optimist, but a climate tech evangelist. After electrifying her home and finally going out of her own way to recycle, she started writing about climate technologies in an effort to encourage more industry investment. And so that's something that she has in common with Chris and Steve. You see, they've all engaged their respective communities as they've gotten involved with climate investments of their own. And I think that's really powerful because, you know, it's not about the climate impact. It's not just about the climate impact that we enable when we invest our money. It's about the climate impact that we can magnify when we change our behaviors and we take climate action in our personal lives and in our communities after having been educated, inspired, and empowered by the climate projects that we invest in. And what if we can catalyze this behavior at scale? There are millions of people who have some money saved up, but they don't have easy access to climate impact investment opportunities that are truly additive. But they have the appetite. At my startup, Intention, we've talked to hundreds of people who are frustrated with greenwashing in the stock market, but who really, really want their money to be contributing to solutions to climate change. So we've built an online investing community a climate investing community to help connect regular people with investment opportunities that are climate positive and climate aligned. And to connect people with each other. I mean, we're building a climate investing movement. Just think about it. I mean, what if half the population could be climate impact investors? Because then a lot of people will have skin in the game and with more people who have that climate impact investing experience, we'll have a better chance of solving one of the greatest problems affecting our planet today. So please join us in our community and help us build this movement.